uh, uh, t star I was working on, that uh, the estimates are completely different. If you depending depending on the data you have, if you have, you know, some millimeter, you take one luminosity. If you have uh, optical, if, if you have infrared, or yeah, so, so what so we this, have there in the in that diagram. This is an attempt to integrate uh, C2D with Orion, and so they all have millimeter wave fluxes and good co decent coverage, but the HOP survey in Orion has a bit better, uh, you know, sampling over sort of the peak. And yes, these are in different regions. So they're coming from molecular clouds of different mass. There could be many systematics here, but for the time being, we're just ignoring this and saying we have some basically consistent picture. Um, yeah, so anyway, we love log scales, right? And we can compare these to these some of these extra galactic measures that people use that are tracing basically O and B stars, star formation on like 10 million year time scales at best. And we just learned that these things are forming practically instantaneously, you know, factors of 100 faster. So some people argue that, th that these metrics are really just tracing, you know, after, you know, star stars are dead. You know, it's tracing stellar death on some level. I mean, uh, you know, the stars. Individual protostars is a clock of temperature versus time. So this is going to give us some access to the energy budget. 